and welcome back to my channel in today's video it will be another recipe you guys it's gonna be a pavlova um, with strawberries on the top um, I guess the first thing you want to do is cut at least two cups of strawberries and put a tablespoon if they're not sweet mine were not that sweet although they're in season so um, I put a tablespoon of sugar um, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla and left it in a bowl to macerate so you just want to leave that there and just let the juices flowing make sure that you shake it a little bit combine it so it's um, the sugar gets all over every single strawberry um, then you want to put your oven at 225 um, degrees because the pavlova cooks a lot for a long time and at a low temperature, you guys. So I'm keeping it at 225. What I have in the mixer is seven egg whites. I have some cornstarch. Um, this is just a measuring for the sugar. I have vanilla extract. I have lemon juice and sugar and some cream of tartar, you guys. So. I have a little bit of cream of tartar here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to beat the egg whites um, for about two minutes and let them get frothy. Then after that, I'm gonna add the cream of tartar and may um, let them get to the point of a soft peak, um, which is basically, it's not completely stiff, but it's getting there. And then you're gonna gradually, slowly add the sugar to the egg white mixture. But once we get there, I'll let you know, you guys. So let's get started. Let's beat this on high. So I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little bit noisy, so I will see you guys back when this is a little bit frothy. Okay, you guys, my apologies. Again, my battery ran out, so if the bit, the video quality is different, please, I apologize, but I am recording with my cell phone now. So when I said um, before that you would um, mix the, the egg whites, until you found um, that they were frothy or until they became frothy, this is basically what I mean. Um, so at this point, you're gonna add your cream of tartar and you're gonna beat it again until you get stiff peaks, you guys, okay? Beat it on high. Okay, you guys, so after two minutes, as you can see, it has like a little soft peak to them. So at this point is when you want to add the sugar gradually and that's what I'm going to do you guys. I am going to add the sugar slowly by slowly. This is the bowl of sugar right here. So you're going to put it back to beat um, for I would say like five to seven more minutes once you start adding the sugar because you just want um, the sugar to be basically incorporated Okay, you guys so now that it's at um, stiff peaks I added the vanilla and the cornstarch and now I'm gonna add the one teaspoon of um, lemon juice to this and Then I am going to fold The mixture together lightly and then we're gonna start preparing to get our um, pavlovas done. Okay, you guys, so I'll be right back. So what you wanna do is you wanna follow the stencil. And as you know, you guys, I used my cookie sheet to do a stencil of Mickey. And I am going to continue to fill in the middle all the way. And then I am going to do it a second layer to it. Now I wasn't sure how many of these pavlovas I was actually 
actually gonna have. So what I decided was that I wanted to try it out and see if it was gonna work. And I'm sorry if you hear my neighbors, the dogs going crazy. So that one, that's okay. Let's try it this way. They said to start from the middle and work your way around. So let's see if I can just exaggerate a little bit the structure. It's basically supposed to be like little meringues. So here's a pavlova already made. This is not a Mickey shaped one. I have some lemon curd that I have previously done and the macerated um, strawberries. I chopped them up and I put them on there. Isn't it cute, you guys? It's so beautiful. It's a little pavlova nest. And in a few seconds, I will show you what I did with the Mickey one since um, I didn't make like a little wedge to add the curd. So I will show you in a little bit. So as you can see, you guys, this is my pavlova. I did the lemon curd on the bottom and I added some strawberries for a little bit of sweetness to counteract the tartness. But these are my Mickey shaped pavlovas, you guys. They came out so good for my first time. I'm very proud of myself, I can't wait to Test out the recipe some more and perfect it. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you like this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. Bye, you guys.